stakeholders of the Mass and Calypso fraternity in Tobago are upset over the jurisdiction of George Leacock, which they say is not sitting well with them. Co-chair of the Tobago Mass Band leaders, Gemma Bedlow Dennis, said in October 2019, they accepted a binding agreement with the Festival's Commission Board, which gave them license to run their own affairs. The problem began, she says, when George Leacock entered the picture. In all our meetings, it was excellent. Everything was coming down nicely. In our last meeting with her, George Leacock was there. And he come in there and he started talking to her. I pick him up. I say, hello. I don't know about you. Miss Alfred is the chairman and we going directly to Miss Alfred. Miss Alfred asked. They say after budgets, bank accounts and other official dates were submitted to the board, it appears Mr. Leacock was given authority over their funding. Chair of the Tobago Zone, Ainsley King, says they are determined to fight against him. By rights, George Leacock is not supposed to be in the picture because if you notice, he keeps saying that he taken orders from a committee. But now and then he's mouth slipping and he's saying, he have money to manage, and he have to manage it in the best way he sees fit. Now that is exposing the assembly that something is wrong. And in response, the Tobago Festivals Commission is maintaining their hands are tied when it comes to the disbursement of more monies for carnival activities. Following Wednesday's joint protest by the Tobago Mass Band leaders and Tobago Tuco, the commission said that they received the same budgetary allocation as in 2019 and are not in a position to give interest groups more. What it means is that the interest groups have been allocated the same 800,000 as last year. She said while the aim is to give more autonomy to the groups to run their affairs, they have had to treat with them differently, as in the case of the Tobago Mass Association. Oh, about that and at this time they, they had no bank account which was a requirement to give them the autonomy that they wanted to do their affairs and um, they failed to submit a program of activities so their arrangement is slightly different from the Tuco and Pension Bagel. According to Ms. Williams, Tuco received the $800,000 allocation despite their count, their court settlement rather, because of the budgetary constraints. This organization is refusing to accept that sum, demanding a change of the THA policy for funding, and actually demanding uh, $500,000 more, which means they want a $1.3 million for Calypso competition that will engage some 30 Calypsonians. The allocation to Pantrum Bigger was adjusted up to come in line with the $800,000.